Rifle fire missile from a Predator remotely piloted aircraft takes out enemy Taliban taking shelter deep inside a cave. One would expect this is most likely a scenario often seen in the remote mountainous areas of Afghanistan. However, this operation is taking place on the ridgeline of a Northern California mountainside to train Beale airmen to be ready for austere operations across the world. Currently they are repelling from that cliff face up there down into that cave and uh, we have a mock training scenario where uh, there were some Taliban guys in there that were uh, uh, killed by Predator Hellfire Strike and uh, there was a bunch of ordnance items in there and we have to go clean up the mess and uh, extract all the explosives. From long distance you can see that there was possible ordnance in the cave, maybe some IED making materials. So we were tasked basically to repel down, recover said items um, of intel value and, and bring them down safely. As part of the newly developed mountain warfare training, EOD airmen train for these types of scenarios so that they'll be ready for the real thing. Beginning in 2008, I was in Afghanistan along with you know, some other guys. We, we found a need for a, a basic mountaineering set of training because we were doing missions out there that were potentially unsafe. And we ended up going to uh, the Army Mount Warfare School, which led us to the Marine Corps Mount Warfare School. So we did that, and then we integrated ourselves in, in with them. We had a field exercise and everything, and it is just it is absolutely amazing. Training consists of recovering munitions from remote all-terrain areas such as caves or ridgelines, as well as recovering wounded and casualties from mountainous areas. These EOD airmen use tactics such as repelling to take on the challenging terrain. Beale Air Force Base is quickly making a name for itself as the home for EOD mountain warfare training. A home Master Sergeant Aaron Finch has helped develop from his experiences on multiple deployments to Iraq and Afghanistan. You guys ready? If we have to go down in a hole, which happens a lot, like a tunnel system, okay, if we have to go into a cave, if we have to rappel down into what you see back here and get a cachet out, we can, we can get in safely. We're not a liability to the mission. So, in other words, nobody's having to lower us down. We're doing it on our own. We're trained to do it properly, safely. Nobody gets hurt. And in the end, you have mission success. And that, that's why we're out here doing this. With the wounded brought home safe and the munitions recovered and out of enemy hands, they've accomplished today's training. Reporting from Auburn, California. All right, you got it. It's all yours. Go. I'm Airman Andrew Buchanan.